What is going on, my Reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Welcome back to the channel. Episode 2. We are in Japan. This is episode 2 of our first season, Asia. We're going to go check out our friend Vlad's shop, Coral Aquatic in Tokyo. Coral Aquatic. Let's check it out. Oh, boy. He doesn't know we're here yet. Let's see. Knock, knock. Ding dong, ding dong, hello. This is our friend Vlad, oh my goodness. Hello, Marge. Ah, Tobi Arigato. Konnichiwa. Ah, are you open? Yes. Wow. No, we're not open today, but yeah, you're, you're welcome. VI, <laughs> VIP treatment. Let's yes. see what's going on. Wow, check this out. Vlad, how big is this store? It's about 25 meters. Wow. 25 square meters. It's small. What is it, what is it about, about a feet? A feet? Maybe what, it looks like feet? about, no, looks like here is maybe three, four hundred square feet. Okay. This, as soon as you walk in, you greeted like with. For sale, yes. This yeah. to me is like very Japanese. You know what I think? Japanese yeah. reef tanks? Makes because sense. We're in Japan. Of, a lot of Japanese coral, like Japanese tosu, trachophilia. This is Japanese. Beautiful. Yes. Japanese corals in Japan. And actually, this trachy was grown from egg. No way. Oh yes. From an egg. Yes, in the university, and it was given to me as a frag. That is so oh, cool. That is yeah. really cool. That's very very cool. Have you seen any of this? No. No, I that's the I first I've heard of that. Any. Shout out to Red Sea. Looks like a Red Sea 300. Yes, it is. Just. Oh. Got set up maybe about two weeks ago. Okay. Two weeks ago, yeah. And what are your plans for this one here as you're uh, created? Acropora. Acropora. Yeah. Acros are big in Japan. Yes, it is. Pure. Interesting choice of lights. Red Sea. How yes. come? Because we're a dealer shop. Okay. I need to set up this tank. Everything Red Sea. Red Sea. Red Sea. On the back there. Nice sticker Red Sea. Here we have our radions. Yes. And then looks like coral, coral beds. Dude, it's very clean in here. Yeah, very clean. I guess that's like very much like Tokyo. This is a very clean city and it translates to stores like there's no clutter, there's yeah, no junk. Yeah, I actually junk. wanted to do like a clean store. And uh, I built this store by myself, like everything. You've done I a great, ground up. great job great. so far. Yeah. yeah, it took me about a year. <laughs> Looks awesome. Yeah. What are these um, coral beds? Six feet? Six feet by two feet and 12 inches. Nice. Yes. Standard coral bed and they are packed with some goodies. Pat, is anything... Um, oh, what's going on with this Ghani here? This is awesome. Yes, that beautiful metallic red Ghani with some uh, beautiful sparkles to it. Those Ghanis are actually rare. Yeah? Yes. Where are those from? Those from uh, Australia? Yeah? I think... Uh, they're they're red. Red. Yes. Okay, do you have a secret to keeping Ghani looking this good? What's... How do you keep Ghani? High flow, low flow, highlight? I change my opinion on these, I would say, every year. Okay, so flow, I just, just as you see, this is the flow you don't want to go to. Not, not high, not low, they love flow. Medium flow. And do you feed Medium them? Medium flow. So, no, because Ghanis don't eat, that's my opinion. And do you, has this one, does this one puddle nicely? Hold Does on, it grow on, really hold well? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you just say? What? Repeat what you just said. Ghanis what? Ghanis don't eat. Ghanis don't eat? Yes. Well, my mind has just gone. Yeah. Connie's don't eat. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't so, feed. I don't uh, feed. Well, mine. whatever you're, you're doing, something right look, here. Look, look. Just, just for example, when you try to feed Gunny, right? So you, you have this Gunny pora powder. Yes. Yep, right. You put some powder on on top of the head, right? So what Gunny does? Closes up. Closes. closes up. Yeah. And when it closes up, where does the water come from? Go to. Yeah. Out. Out, 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 out yeah. of the mouth. So if the mouth is it's the true. Water is out, yeah. nothing is going in. Wow, yeah. look at this. Talk to me a little bit about coral pricing. So what does something like this beautiful, perfect example of an OG bounce mushroom sell for? Oh, this one actually came from Worldwide Corals, OG Bucket. WWC. WWC, Shout yes. out, Vic and Lou. Your, your corals are... In Japan. Even if they're in <laughs> Japan. Japan. They're worldwide. Oh, worldwide corals. Yeah. It's in the name. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So what, what would you sell something like that for? Well, this is a mother colony. Not for sale. Uh, yeah. And I cut from it and maybe you, 
a friend about maybe half an inch. Let's say so it would cost about maybe fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, local. This is probably I have to say the nicest scully I think I've ever seen. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's there's, fantastic. There's master, there's ultra master, and then there's whatever the hell this thing is. That's incredible. I've never ever seen a Ghani like that. I mean Ghani, what am I saying? A Scully. These look like they're very old plugs. It looks like you're culturing. A lot of the stuff that I guess we're culturing back in North America, Mr. Freeze Lepto, uh, we call this honeycomb, some tangerine leptosteris, some berserko. Dude, there's no algae in this thing. There's Pisamacoras in here, there's Cyphastrias. Right, algae, algae does not exist in Japan in Vlad's store. No, it does exist actually. Wow, but it's, it, it looks very, minimal. very clean. Super duper so clean. So does this Ghani grow really well? Ghani is actually... Tia, yeah, these are for you. Check out these Blastomusas. Just perfect. Oh man, these are really nice. Ooh, crazy rhodactyls. Yeah, and actually this hammer, frog spawn, is aquaculture. Let me ask nice. you, what kind yeah. of salt are you using here in the store? A red sea. Red, red sea. Red sea. Polar, polar that was kind of a silly question. Yeah. I saw in the corner of the eye my eyes, some Red Sea Coral yeah, Pro. Red Sea, Red Sea. Red Sea, that's, yeah, yeah, same stuff we use in the shop. That's what we're using on all our systems. Coral Pro, it has a little bit elevated elements, so yeah. sometimes we, depends on what situation, if I want to do like a large water change, mm -hmm. I would mix a regular Red Sea to, with the Pro. To bring down the alkalinity. To bring down the alkalinity, calcium, magnesium. Gotcha. Yeah. Super duper clean. Looks like Red Sea is, is popular here. At least it is in your store. You got you got the full line of Red no, Sea products. No, uh, Red Sea is actually very popular in Japan. In general. In well, Japan, yes. I like this. I like that it's in Japanese. It's all in Japanese, yeah. Tropic Marin. I got some Alpha Reef. Ooh, shout out to Vitalis. The shelf looks very similar. I'm not seeing really... I was expecting to see like um, maybe a Japanese brand or something that I, I don't recognize, but all of this is super familiar to me yeah, everything gets imported yeah everything gets imported yeah cool some rock some biomedia haha <laughs> okay there that's something different i like this pat check this out the oh, skull well, there you go. and it's already yeah. got the plugs in the hole so you could stick some cyphastria or gsp dude i really like that some acros for hair are these popular on the bottom no no not actually oh damn yeah. i really like not this actually. it has to happen sometimes the tank has to get shut down and clean. What are you doing for stands? Is it just wood? Yeah, they're, two by fours. Wow, they're very. You built them. Yeah, very long time. Very it's nice job. Very, very clean cuts. You don't even see where you put the screws in. They, they look like they're made of metal. They're painted to absolute perfection. Yeah. Probably some of the nicest simple wood stands I've seen. Ho ho ho! This is rare. What? Very very rare. What? This. That is quite a rare unit. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. That is very rare. You're not gonna see that. You're not gonna find that. That Especially is Especially with the base station. That's the base station Versa dosing pump from Ecotech Marine. The four unit. I've actually never seen one of those in person. Had to come to Japan to see one. Then what are you actually you got four of them and you're using yeah. one, which is sacrilege, but yeah. what um what where is this going? What are you doing here with this line and this bucket and these styrofoam yeah, containers? So this bucket is is a recent addition. I started to do a calc wash. Oh, uh, calc. Yeah, Old school. Keep a higher pH. Yeah, so the way I do it is very interesting. How long have you been doing this, what? What is it? The hobby. How long have you been? Oh, like, this is how I do it. It's got some calc running. Good way to raise your pH, alkalinity, and so calcium. So you've got a super high tech styrofoam floaty in here? Yeah, floaty. And some legs. <laughs> and some legs. And some legs. So it doesn't go to the bottom. And it's going to be found He's certified. PH. Looking for a Red Sea tank? You're looking for anything salt water Actually, in Tokyo. Uh, this is where you're going to come. You start to do those and then Radeon, the next day morning, Radeon, the Radeon, yeah, Radeon, so Radeon, Radeon, the Radeon, 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 Radeon. This is really the industry standard when it comes to lighting. Um, you go into any serious coral store, that's what you're going to see. Radeon is how it's lit. It's just how it's done. They work. They're amazing. Shout out to Ecotech. Behind that door. Oh, that's maintenance room. Okay, and how about that door? That door is a uh, coral farm? Let's see it. No. Oh. Uh, cloth, cloth bullet? 
No, that's, that's a that's unique not clove. clove. I've never seen yeah, that very clove unique. before. No, very that's unique. not clove. That's not clove. I don't you think it's clove. You haven't seen it. Yeah. If Patrick hasn't seen it, I haven't seen them. You know that it's 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 a rare piece. The, the, it's it clove polyp has caught my attention. Patrick does not get stumped easily. Very rare that he says. It look it looks like a clove. I can that? see it. I've just never seen one like that before. Oh, I that's just fantastic. I see it now. Oh wow, massive and white. Those are very cool. So you're just doing them. Immersed. You're just, you're just an all-around hobbyist. A little bit of everything. These look really good. Yeah. So do you have a bubbler in here to keep the humidity up? Uh, Balance mushroom. Some jawbreakers. Oh, no, no, jawbreakers, yeah. That's cool because this one, usually it's like a marbled sort of pattern. It'll go back and forth. This one is almost split right down the middle. Half yellow, half orange. Looks almost like the shape of a, a weird heart. Hawaii. Very cute. Very, very cute. <laughs> hey, that mushroom? That's from Nicardia. our side. That's our side of the world. Yeah, I've this been must be uh, I've been growing huh? this. Yeah. I'm trying to grow this. Very so, very long time. If you're watching from the United States, you see stuff like this, Florida, Recordia. You guys are quite spoiled because they're endemic to Florida. You guys have, you know you have so many of them. But on the other side That's of the that? world, these yeah. go for a lot, a lot of money. You cannot find them. This is a piece that is very nostalgic for me. Um, I have one in the display tank back at the store. We call it a Nika Stylo, um, but it's just a very, very deep purple. And really, it doesn't get much more purple than this. And this is quite a classic coral. This has been around a long time. It looks like he's been growing it for a while. It's some big, big mother colonies in here in the, in the farm. Yeah, but polyethylene, like all the algae, like stuck there, and like you, you can never take it out. So you need all of a sudden, they start dying. Yeah, the Japanese variety. I don't know. Is that is a skimmer. That's the problem. Yeah. Right. And mine were deeper, and I think that that actually worked a bit better for me as opposed to these, because then. So it's small in here. He doesn't have a lot of space, but he's really, really made the most of it. Look at these hammers. Just perfect, classic purple green hammers. Really healthy. Everything. Everything in the store. He knows. He knows what he's doing here. He's talking to the corals. And he also ships right across Japan. If you're watching this and you're from Japan, you're looking for a new coral supplier, this could be your guy. Check out this Yuma here. And these are nice, actually. They're not nice, they're brown, and they're kind of ugly, but they're rare. They're Palithoa grandis. They're true, true Pali. These are the ones you want to handle with care because they are quite poisonous. And they're cool. They're, it's definitely a different coral. And it's one of the ones, if I could bring some stuff back, it would be a big, fat head of these and some of that white clove polyp we showed you. It's got hidden over here right in the corner. Um, another nice display tank looks like a Red Sea Reefer, maybe the 200. It, it, everything in Tokyo is small. Um, stores and cars and, and buildings, so you really have to make the most of uh, the space that you have. In it. He, it's got it like, there's no room here. It's right up against the wall, but he, he's making the most of it for sure. Check out this clown. He's hosting the Duncans. Thinks it's an anemone. That's so cool. Hey, buddy. That's not a nem, sir. Those are Duncans. I don't care. I don't care. March, you're having conversations with the clown. Stop it. Oh, check out this Aiken. Wow. Perfect. That's what I want to see from Aiken. These are nice, but these are, you know, when they're puffy and they're just, they look like little donuts and they're almost just falling out. Oh, what's in the back here? Look at this. It's in the far corner of the store. He couldn't get any further. He's hiding some super nice acanthophilias. Again, Reef LED 90. This is a light that probably I don't see very often and doesn't get a lot of attention in the industry, in stores. Um, but it seems to be his light of choice and the stuff looks really, really good. Okay, Vlad, give me your story. How did you start with um, keeping one of these? How did you get into the industry? Before the industry, how did you get in it as a hobbyist? All right. So my story begins when I was nine years old. Okay. And no, let's go back further. How did you end up in Japan? In Tokyo? No, no, let, let's start. So my father used to work for an airline company, right? So I used to travel a lot with my family. So when I was nine, uh, I used to stay, this is my first time I've ever seen ocean, and it, it was Maldives. Maldives. Maldives, yeah, 1995. Yeah, like, yeah, that time, no tourists. As it is right now, it's very clean. A lot of coral and fish. And yeah, it's kind of got me from there. 
But it's, it was a little bit expensive to keep. Yes. Like 12, 14, when I was like junior high. And then high school, is, yeah, I, I did like maybe fresh water. Yeah. I bred a lot of fresh water fish. And then how did that, what, how long have you been at the store? Here. Here. Yeah, this location. This location, one year. One year. Yeah, and before that, three years in another store. Okay. Oh, actually four years. So yeah, it's all running about the four years. Yeah, it's, so three and one. Right? It's, it's surprising because I think you said we met the other night up for drinks that it's not a big hobby here in Japan. No, like, no. And it, this, we're in Tokyo that has a population of 14 million. It's like, if just to put it into perspective, Canada is like 30 million. This one city is half of the population of our country, but it's not, it's not as big. You would expect it to be a lot, a lot bigger in such a populous city, but it's not. No, uh, no, it's not like not everyone's keeping their big things anymore because because of the earthquakes. Ah, that's Japan something. Has a lot of earthquakes. Yeah. And that's is, something we don't really think of. I built this thing. So these things are actually built. I built myself. Okay. Right. Everything built here by myself. So these were built on purpose like this because I really wanted to go like this big. More one, one full thing. Yeah. Or like what Marsh has, uh, like a three feet. Yeah. Or four feet, right? Yeah. yeah. But it's. It's a little bit risky. So you got to yeah. build that sort of thing it's into greater, the tank. It's a greater liability if the tank yeah. goes and, and that's twice why the size, it's twice as much. Yeah. Huh. yeah. That makes sense. And then you have to have braces. So I want to show you one interesting thing that doesn't exist anywhere besides Japan. Show me. Look, Red Sea, all the Red Sea Japanese tanks have braces. Oh, you know what? Oh, I wow. didn't have, that. have you seen this? I was watching a Tidal Gardens video. And I, I saw that all the, the tanks are a little bit, they, they kind of have it like this, they're taller. Yeah. But I didn't notice this when I walked in. Yeah, that's funky. Yeah. So they make that's that the just Japanese for Japan. Japanese version. So this one actually is the first Red Sea. It's a very old tank I had. I'm taking this down right now. And this is like first generation, eight years old. Mm. So the first one that came into Japan, they had no braces and these were not selling at all. So they had wow. to put the brace in order to sell in Japan and it's just went, yeah. That's super interesting. Yeah, without the brace. No good. Nobody no. wants it without the brace. When was the last big earthquake here in, in Japan that you guys would have felt? No, the biggest one was 2011, right? Like the biggest one, like we had tsunami in Fukushima, right? Mm -hmm. And after that, like every year, a couple of times, yeah, magnitude five maybe, four, yeah, Tokyo. Everything shakes. shakes. How, shakes how big is that to feel it in Tokyo? Oh, you get used to it. Like I lived here twenty years, so you yeah. get used to it. Really. But how big? Like, what would the number be for something like that? Like, because we were here, and then two days ago or something, or yesterday, there was a four point eight, but we didn't even notice. In Tokyo? No, that's what was said on the news. When we were oh yeah. What is this? Oh, this is Fabio. Yeah, that's Fabio. This is the Scorpion King. Scorpion King. Hello, Scorpion King. Yeah. Looks like an Ultron. I'm surprised to see like you have a lot of the um, well-known named pieces like that, even on the other side of the world. Literally, this is a 14-hour flight to get here. We are on the other side of the straight, world right straight now. Straight flight, 14 hours. So what does maintenance look like? How do you keep your stuff looking so good? Is there water change, dosing? What, what's going on besides the kelp washer here? Yeah, water change. Every week, maybe 10 to 15. Yes! He's team water change. I know I'm going to get a lot of people that comment that say, you don't have to water change. Yeah, so it's like about 10% yeah. water change plus all the shipping we have, like from like online store and customer coming here, maybe, so it's about 15. Yeah. But the more you do the water change, uh, the, more the, stable. the more stable yeah, it gets. And then are you dosing calcium, alkalinity, magnesium? So the calcium part, does all the calcium and alkalinity part, thing, right? So magnesium I check maybe every week, but because we use Coral Pro, it has very high magnesium. So what are you shooting for in terms of levels? Like what do you like to keep this system at in, ter in, in terms of the holy trinity, the calcium, the alk, and the mag? Okay, so alkalinity about eight to nine, anywhere there. Just, yeah. So, no sweet spot. Sometimes it gets to nine, sometimes it gets to it drops to eight, and the increase, increase the dosing. Yeah, calcium 430. 430 for calcium. 450. And then you keep your mag Oh, it always tastes about 1380, 400. 1400, perfect. Yeah. And I noticed you're do dosing uh, uh, phytoplankton under constantly great. too. Yes, phytoplankton all the way. Phyto all the way. Phyto, phyto all, all the way. way. Ah, phyto yeah. all the way. Which brand? What do you use? A, li uh, a live phyto? Uh, easy Show us. 
Easy boot. Easter. Interesting. So you know what? This this was in Canada for a while, and then it's not anymore. But I guess it's just a live Fido. No, it's such chilly dead Fido. It's a oh, interesting. It's concentrate. Very, yeah. very high concentrate. So not like yeah. the Reef Nutrition one. We not have. like the Reef Nutrition. Well, Reef Nutrition has a live and a concentrate, which is what I use. Is there a reason? As long as you're dosing a Fido plant. Is there a reason why the ceiling is painted black? I like it, but just for looks. Just for looks. It looks it looks sweet. Yeah, I want it to go like white and black. Do you have a favorite coral in the store? Favorite Good question. One. Yeah. Oh. It's hard to pick. It's hard to pick. Hard. What first thing that comes to mind? Oh, that's my glitter gani. The glitter gani, the yeah, red one. You don't see this. What's the oldest coral you have in the store? Like something that you've just you've had forever that you've been culturing. These are sweet. Mmm, this is uh, the, the blue milka maybe? Yeah. The milka, yeah. The milka. Yeah. Where did it get that name, milka? That's what we call it as well. Milka or mica. The milka is because of the tip. So the more light, because it's a little bit dark right now, mm -hmm. the more light it gets, it gets like a milky color. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a like a cream color. Is this, uh, what is this? Stellata? Pasilopora. Pasilopora. Your polyp extension is excellent. Yeah, you do have very good Even on the bird's nest. The just... Siloconellas over here are, are hairy little creatures. Everything is jumping out. Everything looks right. really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Superman style? Yeah. Maybe, yeah? Yeah. Just perfect. And what are you running here for radions on the settings? Oh, just uh, custom only oh. blues maybe. And a little bit cyan at the afternoon. So like your yeah, like fives like or sixes? Time. These are fives, yes. Five? Radion yeah. Gen fives. I think that's my favorite. Like your eight cans are incredible. Are any of these corals uh, here from Japan? No. No, no. no. Actually, Japan is not allowed to Harvest? collect, yes, coral. But there are some acropora that has been growing in Okinawa as a, as a breeding of oh, cool. species, so they grow yeah. them I miss and these. then they sell them. Look at these nice button scolies. The croc island scolies, nice. there's a nice symphelium, oh, so nice. So nice, hiding. One's trying to escape between the rack. It's falling over. Super healthy. This actually we came a day too early because this is going to be full of coral um, tomorrow. He's getting a shipment in yes, tomorrow. from Indonesia, from Bali. It's funny because he's got a shipment coming in from Bali, and tomorrow our flight we're leaving for Bali. Yeah. We're leaving on the same flight yeah. as corals he, are he's, coming in. He's oh, trading his. Yeah, I just got a message from my shipper, so corals are ready packed and ready to ship. He's, <laughs> he's trading us in, nice. yeah. sending the Canadians to Bali, and he's taking the coral. I, I was gonna ask, yeah, yeah, I haven't seen these. This is like a weird So this is funky a alu aluminum profile, mm -hmm. it's like 25, 25 millimeters. And in order to mount the radius, I built this out of, from the 3, 3D printer. Oh, but cool. 3D Why? printed everything. Why not just use the Ecotech yeah. RMS mount? Oh yeah, like that. Like that, right? Yeah. The reason I don't like this is because it's very hard to take this, this stuff down. Yeah. Oh. For regular, like, maintenance, right? Yeah. So, but these are very easy, so you take this four screws and it just lifts up. It looks really sleek too. It looks awesome. Mount all the adapters. Flat. Silly. So I will build, build like, hang, like yeah, hanging shelf. Yeah, a flat shelf. Flat shelf. Flat shelf. Yeah, yeah, on the rails. Yeah. I really like it. Vlad, do you keep an aquarium at home? No, no aquariums. You know what? If you guys ask most aquarium shop owners, I think that's the answer you're going to get. Pat, you keep a tank at home? No. No, no. we don't because. Well, you're, like, you're with I, it. How many I, I hours? I live at my shop and then I just sleep somewhere else. So do I have a tank at home? Yes. Do I do a big right? Which, which one is home? Yeah. <laughs> you guys have a crazy work culture here in Japan. You were telling me, like, what's a typical work day look like for you here at the uh, the aquatic store? Oh, it's uh, 10 to 12 p.m. 10, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. 10, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And that's like a typical Japanese thing here in Tokyo. People just work yeah. 14, 16 hours is normal. Yes, it is. Staff, if you're watching the video, we're doubling your shifts. We are now open from 12 to 12. <laughs> that is, it's just, domi origato, that's what we're doing, okay? I'm very excited to see what you're gonna do with this. This is gonna be a beautiful tank here. Yeah. Yeah. You, you obviously know what you're doing, so it's gonna I fill really in nicely. I try because this is gonna be a tank. 
bread, and this sled is not sufficient. I want to. Why do you those. say that? I don't because the power levels are a little bit low. Okay. On these, so it's good for LPS. Good for LPS, but acroport a little bit low. What are you going to light it with in that case? So I want to add the AI blade. That's the yeah, blades? The blades. I just yeah. did a video review on them right before I left and I'm really, really impressed. Yeah. And the par is stupid. So if you put it here, if you mount them like right on the water, you're getting par here of like five to 600. Oh, and wow. then even on the sand bed, you're getting par of like 150 to 200. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I thought it was supposed to be like a supplemental light to add blue. You could easily run the whole tank on them. Mm. Really, really, really impressed. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about Orphix because Orphix are a little bit popular here in Japan. Mm. Yes. Not for us. Yeah, yes, for us. but because no. they're not controllable, like okay. no controls on them, yeah, you cannot just like switch the channels and dim them. That sounds yeah, very so, yeah, backwards. So when, the, when they announced the blade, I was like, yeah, when it gets released in Japan. They're so really, they really it. cool. Yeah, yeah, and you say, you ship all this stuff, right? You said you ship stuff across Japan. Across Japan, yeah. You can get them on your website. Yeah. Coralaquatic.jp Coral J J or dot com? Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. So check them out. This is a perfect leather. Oh, it's almost blue. Super duper healthy. This is an unusual choice for substrate that you've picked here, but I kind of like it. It's not. Yes, it's a it's a crushed coral. It's like what you would put in a calcium reactor. Yes. Crushed coral substrate. So this tank is actually an experimental tank. I showed a customers that you don't really need protein skimmer. That's right. Yeah. I just don't. to hang on so the back this is filter. like low tech. Right? No, this so is perfect. This is this is great to oh, get people into the I hobby. just realized what you're lighting it with. An A80. Yes, Castle 80, 880. Yeah. Little inexpensive light, but doing the job. No Wi-Fi, no fancy features. It's controlled here on top. This is how you sorry I'm fucking with your light I mean messing with your light. But that's obviously it looks like oh I'm put your setting back, but it looks like that's all you need. The tank looks great. Everything's this is, super this is healthy. Perfect to show people how they can keep a yeah. tank. So what you I know, need, you know what you need is a need. reef casa saltwater aquarium ah, kit. That's what go. you really need. Yeah, great little company called Reef Casa. Ian, <laughs> from the street, like if I'm walking by, let's go outside for a second. Hold on, we're here in Japan. Actually, look at this in Japan, but look what it's, what's across the street. Huge American influence here. I was very surprised to see that. Burger Kings and Denny's, 7-Elevens on every corner. But if you're walking by, oh, what is this? Where are these two interesting dudes? Oh, is that a fish? I'm gonna walk in here. Oh, let's go see. Domio Morigato. Very nice, huh? Huh, I'm interested. Oh, hello, do you sell saltwater aquariums? Yes. I would like to buy one today. Welcome. Oh, thank you very much. Where am I? Coral Aquatic. Those, there's a Domino's across Domino's, the street. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. After this, we're gonna go grab a yeah. double, double cheese and pepperoni. Yeah. Wait. Right away. Yeah. 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 Ten pounds. <laughs> Freaking Domino's. It's yeah. those points too. They get you on the points. Yeah. Very, very clean shop. Very nicely executed. Very, very nice job. Well done. Doesn't have to be the biggest. So if you're maybe watching this video and thinking to open a store, not in Tokyo, because there's already a master here, get out, go somewhere else. But anywhere other than Tokyo, you can do it on a tiny scale. Vlad has proved it, we've done it. Um, yeah, it doesn't, bigger is not always better. Just doing it, he's done it smart. He's done every, everything is laid out. Looks like this is your packing station. No. Oh no? This is gonna be another tank. Oh, okay. Yes. I like what you've done here. This so, is a, yeah, this is another aluminum extrusion with some customizing. I like it. Yeah. And then that, is that where you pack your orders? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is my packing station. Oh, this is actually, we have one in the shop. This is made in Japan, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Packing. Are they also $700 here? No. Okay, that's only for us. That's, that's only for us. That's yeah. called the foreigner price. Yeah. No, the, the Yuan or old one? I, one. I have the same I have the same one but without your cute logo here on the side. Yeah, same one. New one, yeah. It's about seven hundred, right? Yeah, seven hundred. Seven yeah. bills. But this is you need this is your, your bag sealer. Yeah. I have okay. the same printer. Look at this. <laughs> Sorry. The ADD is kicking in. It's just nice to see the same printer. Yeah, Dimitri, if you're watching blood. this, if okay. you watch this video, Aquatic Log, yeah. okay. send this guy Maybe some of your, cutting, your racks are better. Your yeah. legs, so look I how he's doing it. Yeah. We're gonna upgrade yeah. these for him. Do you have any, you got any words of advice for a new hobbyist, somebody getting into this or just thinking to get into it, what would you tell them? 
about like keeping the coral? Yeah, or? keeping the coral, keeping a tank. Because I, I feel like a lot of our viewers are, they're in the research phase, they're, they're sort of window shopping with these videos and they're ready to jump in and they're just waiting for the right time. But uh, I think a lot, of, a lot of people watching don't actually have a tank yet. So what would you tell somebody that's looking to get into it or someone who maybe just started? If you don't have time, don't start it. Ah, that's a good one. Yes. These things take time. These things take, take time. It's like a Japanese bonsai. Like every day you need to trim it. Like time, energy, time and money. And energy, yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of customers that are very busy, but they still want to keep the tank. It's not the right and hobby. It's, yeah, it's something hire, you, not you can hire a maintenance company. Yeah, but you can't hire. Like to hire a maintenance company. You can't hire. Can't hire. And you don't do maintenance. No. Yeah, same with us. How come? And this way. We stopped, we stopped uh, talking about that time. That time was actually set up like very low tech, no additives. Just do 80% water change on that small tank yes. every week. No additives at all. And I use Coral Pro because all of the elements are elevated. Mm -hmm. So alkalinity after the change, maybe it's like 10, 10.5. Yep. And then mm -hmm. the week after. When I uh, before you do the water, water change, change, yeah, I just measure it. It's about six. It's like wow. six point five. Yeah. Much in one week, and like this tank was set up about three months ago, and you see like oh, all the coralline, yeah, algae, and no algae at all. Yeah, I don't, very small, but like maybe some one two. Plate so no need for carbon, no need for GFO. Oh. No, nothing. No Is testing needed. No testing. What, just eighty you percent know. water changes. Just eighty percent, like from here to here. Yep. Every week. Just enough that the fish stay wet. I bet everything. that you could get by on 25%. He was saying that it's, uh, um, no, when he does the water change, it's 10.5. And then a week later, the alkalinity will be at 6-ish. Yeah, 6, six to 7. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I got a more important question. Vlad, where are the fish? There's no, there's no fish. No, we don't do fish. I like this shop. You know what? I feel good. The guy's not selling fish. He doesn't do freaking service. He's just about the corals. You're my kind of guy. This is what we do. Small stores. Just corals. There's not. You don't even have invertebrates. There's, I don't, don't see cleaner shrimp. I don't see snails or crabs. Yeah. Yeah. It's a coral fanatic. Coral is is where it's at. This is what he's about. I like that. Yeah. You just have to like. I think focus. Focus specialize. on the, specialize. Specialize on one, 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 one thing. Yeah. yeah. Leave this. Leave the service to the guy. Well. Leave service to the service guys. He has a he has a fish guy that he deals with. He was saying, and his fish guy is the expert on fish, so he he keeps the fish. For that guy that's the expert that's been doing it his whole life, and then he's the expert on corals. Smart. We're trying to figure out right now how to get those clove polyps back. So he's like, I'm going to pack them for you. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to Indo. We're going to throw them in the ocean, right on our hotels on the beach. I'll keep track of them. And then in seven days, I'll throw them back in my suitcase. I want these clove polyps. They're so cool. Yeah. Snowflake. Oh, that's Clove perfect. Polyps. It should be called the Millennial Clove Polyps. <laughs> it, should be called, it, should, it should be called March Goes to Jail Clove Polyps. That's the Millennial, the millennial uh, Clove Polyps. A little, snow, like a, snowflake. a little snowflakes. They're so sensitive. I love these things. They're so silly. Jesus, look at these torches. Just perfect. These actually, they call them Rasta torches, I think, in the States. What does oh. something like this sell for? I'm always curious in the pricing to see how it varies from country to country. Rasta is, I think it's about, uh, yeah, $150 maybe per head. That's cheap. That's not a lot of money. I think they go for more than that typically. I think you're less expensive here in Japan than... Uh, they are closer to origin, so their shipping costs would be a lot lower right. too. Yeah, yeah, you're probably like almost on par with us, but you're definitely cheaper than the U.S. Yeah. Say that again. Say that again so uh, everyone can hear. March, March is what? March is cheap. March is cheap. Yep. People, yeah. want, people tell me that all the time. Hey, man, I'm watching the videos. I would buy all your corals at those prices. Yeah. Yeah. We're not greedy. You know what? I know what I paid for it. I know how much we need to mark it up to pay the rent, to pay the staff and me enough that I can, you know, take time off and come to Japan. If you want me to charge more, I can, but I think we're reasonable. I think we're reasonable. That's the word. I don't know if we're cheap, but we're fair. Yeah. So just for example, something like this, these are Akens. These sell for $3,000 here in Japan, $3,000. But you have to remember that is Japanese yen. So what you do is you knock off two zeros. So these are actually 40 bucks, for, uh, 30, sorry, 30. And then these ones over here, 40. So. For me, that's that's incredible. That's really good value. Something like this, that kind of color, size, health. These look like they've been fragged a long time ago. They're selling for double. So I would say that corals in Japan, or at least here at this shop, 
are much less expensive. This would be a hundred bucks um, for us per polyp, 80 to 100 for stuff like this. And here, 5,000 yen would translate to 50, $50 Canadian. Just knock out those two right there. So in my eyes, very good value. And I would say um, yeah, these these are cheap. The other way around, Vlad, your, your corals are cheap. I have a me measurement in centimeter. Yeah. So because these are made from acrylic, they're rough. Yeah. Right. Can you yeah. tell us how you point in Japan? You do not point with your finger. Yeah. You point with you your. Point with coral coral. Okay. If you're, if you're here, you point with this. Yeah. But it, you can measure, in general, like, you point like this. Like you don't. This is rude. This. You do so not go like this. Oh, okay. You say, "Wow, those are nice fish. That's you cool. are a good person. That is a nice right. thing." March is freaking yeah, crazy. Yeah. Souvenirs. Souvenirs. Is this free shit? I love free. Oh, it's free shit. The best. Guys, this has been probably one of the funnest and coolest videos that we've shot. Definitely the furthest to get to this store. Um, we're on the other side of the world and thank you so much for watching this video. I wouldn't be here without you guys, especially you two. Thank you very much to Vlad. It's like Sunday night at 9 p.m. He took the time off from his kids and family to show us the shop. But um, also to the viewers, we wouldn't be here without you guys. You guys make this possible. So really appreciate it. Love and respect each and every one of you. And we will see you in the next episode. We're going to be in Indonesia, in Bali. If you like the content, you like this, you're not tired of the sound of my voice, and you want to see more about corals and travel the world with us, hit the little ding 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 There's a little bell down there. It'll subscribe you and let you know when we do this, guys. Uh, again, and that's it. I'll leave you today with, hmm, let's see, uh, the scoli. I'm going to go back to the scoli. And we will bid our farewells. This one, check that thing out. Have a very nice day, afternoon, or morning. Wherever you're watching from, never stop reefing. And goodbye for now. Domi arigato! What the hell is this? Canister filter bloopers. Get this out of here. Get rid of this thing. Why do you have this? Garbage. Where's your garbage? Throw it in the back. じゃあ、あと5分10分ぐらいで行きます。お願いします。